Known as the Justice 40 Initiative, President Biden has committed to ensuring that the communities most impacted by pollution receive at least 40% of the benefits of the administration's ambitious infrastructure investments. And getting this done right will be a key part of this committee's agenda. Because for the many communities that have waited far too long for progress, this is a matter of life and death. When the water comes, and when the floods come, which communities are going to be endangered and vulnerable the most? It is absolutely the low-income uh, black and brown communities, and in particular, women and children. More black neighbors. My black neighbors in Michigan died at a higher rate of COVID, even though they make up less than 15% of the total population. Why? Because of pre-existing conditions and environmental, literally environmental racism. It's not fair that people in rural America may have flooding or breathe air that is not as clean, or people in black and brown communities may live in a different and substandard way than the rest of us. There needs to be racial, gender equity, geographic equity in the job creation of the future. That's what Justice 40 is about. I'm proud to support the Justice 40 initiative as championed by the White House and local leaders. And I do look forward to the Oversight Committee's continued engagement to make sure we get this done. This issue demands action. What's more important than our planet's health, than our children's health? Republicans may prefer to change the subject, but I am proud that the Oversight Committee is seeking real, urgent solutions to this climate emergency we're confronting in our nation.